Well, a very good evening from Phuket. My name's Tony. Welcome to the channel if you're new here. Please do check out some of my other content after you've watched this video. So tonight I've brought you back over to Bantau. As I promised, I would revisit Bantau in the evening time. So we're going to take a look at Bantau's nightlife. There is a bar area, which is where we're going to sort of start. We're on the beach right now. And the reason why I'm on the beach is because of all the restaurants that lie on the beach. I want to show you those first. And then we'll move back behind the beach where the bar area is, where I finished on the last video. And then we'll take a look at that area and the restaurants adjacent to the bar area of course and then once we've had a look at that we will then make our way through Bantau stopping at one or two different areas we're in the main area right now so without further ado let's get into the video if you remember I walked along the beach and I sh showed the restaurants that are on right on the beach well we're back in that area now and you can see plenty of choice here and they're all lit up and some looking really really nice so you can come late afternoon early evening grab a table sit and watch the sun go down in fact the sun's just gone down unfortunately I've just missed it today is the 25th of April and I'll just do a quick time check it's coming up to a quarter to seven in the evening So as you can see for yourselves, there is plenty of choice when it comes to restaurants in Bantau. That's one thing you're not short of. And a lot of them are right on the beach, which is fantastic, as I say, to have that sort of evening meal sitting on the beach or just very, very close to the beach. It's just going to be a great experience. If you're coming for a couple of weeks, you could dine at a different restaurant each night. You're not going to have too much of an issue there. So what we're going to do is make our way to the end of these restaurants and then I'm going in reverse of my other video and we're going to go off the beach and walk through that area where there are some more restaurants behind these ones and then into the bar area. There are actually still quite a few people on the beach enjoying it. You can see the lights stretching all the way down, all the different restaurants. Okay, now let's uh, make our way. We're going to go off next to the, uh, I forget the name of this place, something pig. <laughs> The Beach Pig, that's it, the Beach Pig restaurant.
so as you can see not all the bars are open however there is a reasonable amount of bars that are open in this area and I also noticed there's not too many working girls of course there are a few but if you're coming over here with the family then I'm sure you're going to be able to drop into this area and enjoy a few drinks in the evening time So jumping back on the bike we came to an area that's opposite the Sun Prime and Bantau Resort or Hotel whichever you want to call it and this area has got a couple of nice restaurants one of those restaurants being the sugarcane and I have to say from the outside the sugarcane looks an absolutely beautiful restaurant I have no idea what the food is like so if you have dined in this restaurant and you are watching this video I would love to hear some feedback drop it in the comment section down below it will not only help me but it'll also help people that watch the channel and this particular video and give them some idea if this restaurant is any good because it looks fantastic as you can see outside I have no idea of the prices because there wasn't a menu out at the front of the restaurant at the time of filming and then again jumping back on the bike we came across well I would call it a bar but they are describing it as a club I'll leave that down to you there was some girls in there working so if you're looking for some fun in the evening maybe you want to check out this place then moving more further along the same road there are various shops massage bars um, restaurants they are scattered all along the road as you will have seen on my daytime video but there are a good choice of different facilities it really depends on what you're after but you've got to bear in mind that really to get the full benefit out of the Banto area you need some sort of transport I've moved down to where the plaza area is and we're going to take a quick look around here now it's not uh, got as many bars as the area that we've looked at a little bit earlier in the video of course you've seen that's really the main area for the bars but we're going to take a look around here there's one or two and there's also a good choice of restaurants in this area as well so there's the plaza area we looked at the other day and then just after or before depending on which direction there's this little pocket of facilities and there's quite a few shops massage and there's a few restaurants around here as well and we're just going to have a little walk through this area in the evening so you can see what it's like it's not as busy as I was expecting or thought it might be to be honest So we've got a little bar here to my right hand side not many people in there at the minute and then we have a restaurant across the road a couple of restaurants And then we have another couple of restaurants, one of those being full. And that's it for this little area.
Welcome to the Hugo Hub. Now I did cover this on my day video and I would describe this area as a collection of small restaurants in one area but they describe themselves as a different food trucks. The one in front we've got is a pizza but they offer Mexican food, Thai food, I believe there's Japanese food and the way it works is you have to order your food from the individual restaurants and pay for it when you order it but the bar area is situated at the bottom and you can order your drinks from that area and pay for your tab at the end of the night but the food you have to pay for when ordering. So you can see that one selling Mexican food. They do have a main kitchen so I believe you can also order from that area as well. It's a case of having to explore and just ask. It is nicely lit, it's a nice place to come and relax in the evening time and of course if you make your way all the way to the bottom you will see the seating area that's overlooking the sea. So again depending on what time of day you arrive but if you time it just right I would imagine this is just a great place to come, chill out with either some food and drink and just watch that sun sink into the sea in the distance. Now again, if you have eaten in this area, I would really appreciate some comments. So leave a comment down below what your thoughts of the Yugo Hub are. This will not only help me, but it will help others that watch the channel. So let me know your thoughts and feelings on Bantau's nightlife. I would say that it's a very much relaxed affair. There are a few bars here. There's one nightclub that I've found, if you can call it a nightclub, it's a bar stroke nightclub. Not quite sure what time it closes, but it looks like it goes on till pretty late. Restaurant where I started the daytime video is just behind me really nice place in the evening time as you can see all lit up the tide is actually out tonight so I can actually stand on the beach and this is a really nice area to come and visit at the very southern end of Bantau and I guess that just leaves me to say as always thanks for watching if you've enjoyed the video please leave and consider subscribing to the channel so until next time you take care and I'll catch you on the next one